welcome back to my outriders we're gonna continue with our pyromancer playthrough we're going to focus mainly on the main missions however if the side missions we do pick them all up are on the way we're gonna do them if they kind of happen to be along the path one of the things that i did is i changed my world tier back down to three i was on six and that is just simply to make sure that we can get through the main story if we find it's too easy we can go up a little bit but in the end of the day all the gear we get that is actually really much more powerful in the higher tiers we're gonna replace anyway a couple of minutes later when we level up again so it's kind of much of a muchness except that we will have an easier time with the bosses and with the mobs that we're fighting if we don't have this huge level gap between the bosses and the actual weapons we're gonna get we wasted a lot of resources messing around with the crafting screen uh, once we actually unlocked it so you can see my resources actually quite low but that's part of the fun we experiment around but we're gonna get more resources along the way so it's not the end of the world however one of the things that I would like to do is I would like to make sure that every time I get new gear that I put in certain modes because uh, mods they actually help like for example right the wave is very handy because it activates one more time before triggering the cooldown which is pretty cool and it only needs leather which we still have a lot of another mod we have already unlocked that i'm gonna apply is uh, also for heat wave and is that damaged enemies take 25 percent more damage for eight seconds they're very cheap to replace these mods so what i would probably do is throughout is as i get new armor just keep applying some of the mods that i find very useful to my setup another mod that i want to use that i have unlocked already is volcanic rounds decreases the target's armor by 30 percent for 10 seconds which is handy because that is the skill we're going to be using a lot as well so now that every mod is pretty much in sync with the skill set we're using we can see here we're using volcanic round mods um heat wave mods and uh, fire eater mods now when it comes to skills we are going with those exact skills feed the flames for healing volcanic rounds and heat wave now feed the flames i'm kind of switching in and out between feed the flames and overheat it depends how i'm getting on with the fights but feed the flames so far has been quite useful for that little extra healing buff when i need it now we're going to continue to travel to eagle peaks to continue the main storyline is that the tower Yes. It looks like the cable car is down. We might ask those soldiers if there's a way to get them working. What the hell was that noise? How about they keep the engine warm? I love my truck. This is from the DLC that I got myself yesterday. Um, after the stream, it looks pretty badass. We can put like all these little custom mods on it. They don't do anything functionally, but still looks pretty badass. Very happy with that. <laughs> now you get some gear and armor as well, but I'm already way past that level, so we would have to upgrade all that gear to use it again, which I'm gonna do at a later stage. Cable car to the radio tower. Does it work? Not since insurgents took control. They have the car on their side. You could try saying pretty please. <laughs> Thanks, I'll pass. What about the other one? I wouldn't risk it. it. Goes too close to the volcano. That thing's active? I mean, it spews lava from time to time, but there's something far less natural lurking in there. Okay. What's the story with your volcano? Whatever's in there, even the insurgents keep their distance. We learned the hard way. The things stayed below the fog, dragging them down the cliffs, spraying flames. I never saw it, just heard the screams. By the time we dragged the cable car back, there was nothing but blood and ash. So, before I can use the cable car, I gotta go deal with that volcano. What, are you kidding? You got some kind of a death wish? Just tell me how to get there. Altered. I'm Captain Dunham. There's a path that'll take you further up the mountains. Keep in groups of two, clocking your sexes. Just show off your powers and off we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to go through here. Things Great. So scary and close. Oh shit! Did he just move? Let's go. What did the soldier say? Only way to the radio tower is those cable cars. How badly do you need that radio tower? I'm afraid this is the only facility with enough range. If I can't use her frequency to find the signal from that tower, we might as well quit now. <sighs> we'll get cozy then. We're gonna be here a while. Seems I got a date with a volcano. Okay, this is looking pretty badass. I love the surroundings. Okay, here we go. Fast travel point established. Very nice. Let's go. 
Okay, we have two ways of doing this. We can go down here, but we have to go down here. So there could potentially be a chest down here. Let's see if we find any loot. Yes, nice. Get some resources. Okay, the bridge is out. We're not gonna get across there. So let's head back and go the other way. There was no loot here either. So let's head down this way. Oh, very foggy. Nice, we got some loot. Oh, we have incoming. Nice. I keep forgetting about my melee ability as well, which is very powerful. Got some new trousers, very good. Okay, we got more incoming. Can we loot the crate? Let's see what's in it. Oh, there's a blue one, nice. Okay, let's actually, let's surround them all. Let's, let's round them up. Let's round them up. Let's bring them over here. There we go. Nice. Excellent. I love this so much in this game. It's not just about the guns. It's a lot about your skills as well. That's why I love the world here. I was watching a video actually on this and the problem with the skills is they don't seem to scale with the world tiers. So when you fight mobs that are like three, four levels above you, that's great for the guns and all that because you usually drop weapons that are matching that level. But the problem is that your skills don't seem to scale. So your skills go by the level you are at. So you want to find the right balance for you. I mean, if you prefer like really bullet spongy right off the bat, then yeah, sure. That's a different story then. Let's see if we missed anything. Is there any more notes to mine? No? Okay, let's go. Whoa. What do we have here? There we go, gotcha. Oh, there's more, no. There we go, another one down. Come on. Oh How much my god. Nearly every creature we've encountered on this planet has evolved rapidly since we landed in unnatural and lethal ways. What remains unproven is whether they've been adapting to the anomaly's hostile conditions or being changed by the anomaly. Oh, what the hell does it matter? Just don't let any of them close enough to eat you. <laughs> exactly. I totally agree. Oh, nice. Oh, that's just a reload. I thought we found a chest. Okay, let's go. These creatures are looking absolutely badass. Ah, of course it was going to come and attack. Is it though?
Nice. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Let's see what we get. Okay, not an improvement. Not an improvement. So we can actually just assemble it right here off the bat, which is brilliant as well. Very good. Love it. Here we go. Okay, let's round them up. See if there's any more. Is that the only three? Okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. why I spoke too soon. There we go, love it. Excellent, that's it, beautiful. Oh, uh, volcanic rounds are absolutely badass. Okay, so let's see what this loot we place. got. It's unnatural, all right. What the hell did all this? Nice, we have another fast travel point unlocked. Beautiful. Whoa! Okay, this beast is not something we can tackle right now. I have a feeling we're gonna have to fight that bad boy. Ah, uh, of course. Oh, spiders! Oh, they explode! Are you kidding me? That is not cool, man. Choke point here. Let them come in. Beautiful. Okay, there's no loot we missed. Um, there is a quick loot button. By default, it's H. I bound it to my mouse, uh, one of the side keys on the mouse. So that way, you just have to run around and spam it to pick up things in a wide range. And you can configure if you want to ignore certain item levels. Or if you want to pick up everything, I have it set to currently pick up everything, white items, rare items, anything, common, doesn't matter. Okay, we have a reload here, very nice. Oh, we found a nest. Ugh. Do we want to enter the nest? I don't know. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, bad idea. Let's do this quick, shall we? Wow, this is actually our first boss boss fight, I think. So I'm gonna expect to die. Oh, we're actually healing up, okay. So let's not be in the blue. I'm assuming that is where it's gonna land and do damage. Nice. And whenever Volcanic, um, oh, whoa, it has a shield. Are you kidding me? Oh, wow, okay, let's not get hit by that. Okay, let's get the bullets.
Ah, balls. Okay, our healing is strong. Let's self-heal a bit. Oh, we actually finished its first health uh, section, I think. Oh, is that it? Okay. We have to fight it in stages. Whoa, look at all these multiple health uh, sections they have. That is insane. Oh. Okay, we want to be faster than that. Let's keep looking at the radar. Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. Ah, oh, it's spewing nonsense. Ah. Oh, behind us. Oh, that is bad. Okay. I'm losing a lot of health here. Let's quickly heal up. Come on. Okay, I think it's doing that. Sp oh, it's doing the circle spit. Class, there is gonna be. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. Come on, we're nearly down. We nearly got it down. Yes. Okay, let's focus. Use the little mobs to heal up. Oh, wow. What the hell, man? Okay, is this where we're gonna die? Oh, look at that. Is that extra damage? Did we just see extra damage there? Oh, why am I... Oh, crap. I'm actually in lava. That's not good. So that was a terrible idea. I should pay more attention. Seal up a little bit. There we go. Did we get it? Oh, I think we did. Nice. Okay, what did we get on loot? Oh, sweet. We got some blues, we got some greens, and we got 300 leather. That is amazing. Captain Dunham, your volcano problem is taken care of. You killed it? I... I can't believe it. Amazing. I'll give the order to have the cable car ready right away. Before we return to hand in the quest, we're actually going to do the side quest because it's right here. But let's have a look at the loot. Again, the loot is probably not going to be an upgrade for a little while, which is okay because we can at least get the mods and everything from it. Um, because we upgraded all our gear pretty much level 15 when we discovered the crafting system just to play around with it. So let's check out this side mission. Nice, it's a historian mission. So these missions here actually get us items for our historian back at the very first town. And when we hand them in, we actually do get rewards, you know, that are upgrades usually to us. Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Straight away getting attacked.
Nice, what do we get? Helmet. Somebody else here behind us. Beautiful. Okay, health is topped up. Very nice. Let's get the note before the rest comes in. How much iron do we get? 294. Very nice. Ah, okay. Okay, we have a boss incoming. Let's take out this guy first so he doesn't shoot us in the back. Oh, yeah. This. The boss. Ah, oh, what an annoying piece of crap. There we go, interrupted, nice. And, oh, beautiful. Yeah, he freezes. These type of captains, like, they come in different variations, but this one here, he does that little portal thing or black hole which keeps sucking you in, but we got some good items. Let's see if they upgrades. I don't think so. Scrapping this, though, is going to give us stiffening. Shots inflict slow on enemies. Very good mod to have. So once we scrap it, we can actually go to the crafter and apply that to any of our weapons, which is pretty cool. All right, let's pick up the item. And that's it. Now we're going to return. And later on, at some point, when we go back to the main um, camp that we started on, we can hand all that stuff into our historian. Altered. We're all wishing you'd been with us months ago. Now we might have a fighting chance at taking back this mountain. Just tell me how to work the cable car, Captain. I need to get my scientist up to that tower. Right. Only one small problem. The cable car we control doesn't go to the tower. It goes straight to the heart of the insurgent base. The second you land, you're gonna get swarmed. But... If you can wipe out enough of them and take back control of the radio tower car for us, I'll send your scientist across. Sounds like a plan. Hey! I'm sorry, it doesn't feel right asking you to do this alone, but after what you pulled off with that volcano. Look, your men have it rough as it is. I can handle it. Oh, nice. Look at that. We got our first tier two upgrades here. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, I'm really liking this. Bone shrapnel. Killing shots detonate the enemy's bones and turn them into shrapnel that deals 235 damage and inflicts bleed. So that sounds very tasty, especially if we can put that on a machine gun. Yeah, let's take that and see if we can put that on a machine gun. There's something out there to fear, all right, but we don't know what it is. Oh, we unlocked Ash Blast now. Okay, let's see what that is about. Create an anomaly blast to inflict ash onto all enemies within a large radius around you. It's an immobilizing skill, the same as our immobilizing kill Feed the Flame. So maybe we should replace like with like in that sense, so that we have something to interrupt when we fight bosses. Now, I'm just looking at my class skills. What I really like about this game is as well that you can at any time reset your class skills, which is amazing. And I was going down the middle road here into Firestorm a little bit because that helped me a lot. But seeing that we lowered the world tier, I'm seeing that this one actually has also enemies afflicted with Ash received 10% more damage. So that might actually be something to try out. And increased weapon damage, definitely should take that. And then we can pick activating your mobilized skills, increase your anomaly power by 45% for 10 seconds. So when we activate Ash, we also increase our anomaly power, which means then things like heat wave will also get stronger. Or we can go for something more direct, like double guns, assault weapons, assault rifle. Yeah, double gun. We're using a double gun in the moment anyway, so we could get a flat out uh, damage increase by 20%. So maybe we're gonna go with this first and see how that plays. Okay, before we're gonna leave this episode, I want to actually check out if we can apply this mod to our gun. So we have this gun here, which has bone shrapnel and ricochet. If we scrap this, do we get both of them? We do, which is awesome. So let me see if I can actually apply that now to any other weapon or if that is only for the sniper rifles. So if I go to my double gun and say mod swap, can I now 
killing shots detonate the enemies that is amazing but you see we don't have toxic blast yet so we will lose that i'm pretty sure we're gonna get that again but i think right now it would be amazing to be able to apply that and how much does it cost only 71 iron yeah let's do it there we go boom for now i'm gonna leave this episode here guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope i see you guys in the next video and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time until then as always viel spaß and happy gaming